nothing better than a dollar store find. When you're looking for a container to grow your potatoes in, and they say about a 30 liter container is great, finding those can be hard to do. But not when you go to the dollar store and find a laundry basket of actually 36 liters in size. Perfect, and it's got handles too, so we can transport that around. Come with me and let's learn how to plant potatoes in containers. It's a beautiful day out here, May, in Alberta, Canada, but it's still not warm enough to plant my vegetable garden, even though I so desperately want to do it. So I'm going to start with potatoes because I can put them in the containers and get those started a few weeks in advance before I can bring them outside. Let me show you how I do that. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you're here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell so you'll get notified and won't miss any of my new videos when they come out. Each week we make good meals together and what better food than you can make is in your own garden. So today we're doing potatoes. I've got a great recipe for potatoes that I'm going to make for you later on, but we've got to do the prep work first and that's growing it. Welcome to our acreage. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The more of you that subscribe, the more my videos get out. And I love doing these YouTube videos and learning with you. I've spent a lot of time researching how to make this the most effective pots to grow my potatoes in, and I'm excited for the experiment. So let's learn together. Thanks for joining me on Cooking with Carrie. just about time to be growing potatoes. It's the beginning of May and there's still frost in the ground so we're not going to do it just yet. But I was at the dollar store and found these laundry baskets. They were four dollars and they hold 36 liters or 9.5 gallons which is the perfect size to be growing potatoes. So today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to grow potatoes in a container laundry basket to be exact. Tip number one is to chit them or sprout them. So these guys have had a good chance to sprout. So when we put them in the soil, which means they're going to be already start growing, not the few weeks that it's going to take to grow, they've got a good start on everybody else right now. The second tip is to use a container that's 30 liters. Now we're almost there. Well, we're bigger than that at 36 liters. So this is going to be perfect for growing our potatoes in. Now the reason for using this size of container is that there's enough room to grow your potatoes in, but it doesn't use up too much compost. This is an adequate size for planting your potatoes, which gives you a good harvest size. This size of container, the plant zone is restricted, which makes sure that you're using up all the nutrients in the soil and there's nowhere else for them to go. So they're going to absorb everything and all the nutrients that are inside. And because these are a decent sized container, but they're not too big, we can plant them now and let them grow indoors because it's still the beginning of May and we've still got two weeks until the May long weekend, which is normally the time that you take plants outside to grow them. But we can transport them easily with these nice handles that we've got on each side of the container. Reason number five that I love these is there's enough room for the plant to grow in this container and yet small enough for me to be able to move them around if I need to, which means I can plant them now while there's still frost in the morning and allow them to grow indoors. And then when the frost finally is done, which should be about May long weekend, I can take these easily outside and begin growing them outdoors. And because these containers are plastic, they're going to retain moisture. Now I'm going to right now put in some drainage holes to the bottom of this container so that the, the potatoes stay adequately moist and yet still have the opportunity to drain. I'm gonna take my drill here and in the bottom of the container, I'm gonna drill in five holes. I might need to use the newer one. This is the only one I could find right now in the husband's garage. I think I need to find the newer drill that works a little bit better. But anyways, five holes in the bottom. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this bag. 
pop it into the laundry basket. And then put some holes in the bottom of that bag. Now this is gonna really make sure that it's going to retain the moisture that we need to grow these potatoes. And I've got the holes in the bottom there too. So the first step is to take about three inches of soil and cover the bottom of my container with that garden soil. Some regular potting soil at my local nursery. And it doesn't matter what type of potting soil you use, as long as you don't use um, fresh out of your garden soil. You need stuff that's got um, some water it's nice and light and isn't going to bog down like your garden soil would. Okay, so I've got that in the bottom. Next I'm gonna do, I've taken, I've got some garden food, dry granules, and I'm going to take that Put two tablespoons in there and we're gonna mix it up and that's so that it's spread out you don't want to have pockets of that where the potato roots are gonna touch and maybe burn it you want to make sure that it's spread throughout and mixed in your soil so that all the nutrients are readily accessible for the potatoes to reach I used was an 8 10 12 I couldn't find something that was a little bit higher um, but I'll add some nutrients later on in the season, but this is what I could find right now and I want to get started on these potatoes as soon as possible. Okay, so now we're going to take our three potatoes. We're going to put them with the chits facing up. And I've just got these three little ones. Now I got a red apple variety. I've never tried these before, but they look like they were gonna be cute and easy. And I love a nice little potato. So I'm not going for the huge variety. I want some that I can just um, chop up and boil and roast. And I'll show you later on how I do a roasted potato, but that's what I'm trying to achieve with this. So I'm using tinier ones. And that's how much space I've left between them in the container. For you to see. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover them up with another three or four inches of soil. I'm pretty sure that these are the potatoes that are determinate, which means that they um, grow upwards, which means I'm going to have to continue to add soil to them as the plant continues to grow. But I'm also going to try them without doing that and see which one works better. So because the variety of potato I could not find as to whether it's indeterminate or determinate, I'm taking an educated, well, an uneducated guess, but we're gonna try both ways and see which one works better, which one I'm gonna get a higher yield from. So one we're gonna do this way and the second one we'll do layering them. I'm gonna fill it up with another three or four inches of soil. put another tablespoon of fertilizer on top of that and carefully mix that in so that I don't disturb the potatoes that are just below it. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's go do um, the other container layering them and see which one gives us a higher yield. So I've chosen a blue container so I can vary and know which one I've done which with. But I've done the same thing. I've drilled holes in the bottom. I've lined it with a garbage bag, stuck holes in the bottom of that, put in about three inches worth of topsoil, put in the two tablespoons of granular fertilizer. Next, I'm going to put in potatoes. Now I'm going to put them in at the handles. So I'm going to put one here and one on the other side. 
So put one potato on one side and the other. Okay, covered those up, and now I'm gonna put in another two. I'm gonna put another two potatoes. So on this side. And on this side. And then I'm gonna fill up the container all the way to the top. So this one, I'm going to fill it, I filled it up at the time of planting and I'm going to also put a layer of mulch, which is this straw. And what it's going to do is insulate it. Now we'll keep the water in there because potatoes love it nice and moist. So the reason why you're going to mulch a container or any container that is is what it's gonna do is insulate it from the cold because we still can have cold nights here in Alberta. We're actually in a 3B. It can help stop the moisture loss so it's not evaporating off the top when the heat of the sun comes barreling down on it. And in third, in the summertime, it's actually gonna help insulate it to, from the heat. When the top plants start coming out, that's gonna help give it extra shade so that the plant and the potatoes stay cool themselves. Even though it's warming up on the inside, it's not gonna have the sun barreling down on it. And the last thing is the mulch is actually going to wick moisture. And so it's going to wick it up from the soil. And then when the soil begins to knead it, it's going to wick it back down into the potatoes. So this is a perfect covering to keep those potatoes protected. So when you're able to get these containers outside, what you're going to do is build a structure around them. And the reason why you wanna build a structure a tomato cage or some sort of trellis is to keep those leaves off of the ground of the container. It will help shade the buckets in the summertime. It will make sure that nothing rots. Also help keep the leaves up so that they can photosynthesize and help that plant to grow big and strong. So when you water, you want to water it till you see water come out the bottom of the hole. So let's go do that next. So here's the first one. Now it's only got half of the amount of dirt in it because this one we're going to add more dirt to it each time the plant gets bigger. And then walk away from it and let all the water seep in and then you're going to come back and water it again. Now the second one here is filled to the top so it's going to need an extra long soaking here. watered it for a little bit then came back and watered again and the reason why some compost can wick off that moisture and so you've got to give it a chance for it to settle in and really get everything wet with watering what you need to do is stake your finger and stick it in to your top knuckle and see if the ground is wet and if it is you know that it's wet enough and that it's sufficient. If it's not, it needs more water. Potatoes want to be moist. Nice and cozy in there, but they still wanna be nice and moist. So at the very end of the season, I'm gonna just jump to that really quick. At the end of the season, when the leaves start turning yellow, you know that the potatoes are just about done. But what you're going to wanna to do is wait until the leaves are 50% yellow. Then what you're gonna do is cut those tops off and wait another two weeks for those potatoes to harden up before you dump them out. Now, I'm glad you guys are joining me now. We're gonna see which pot does better based on how it's been treated, whether filling it up and letting it be that way is the best, no matter what the variety of potatoes, or whether continuing to um, pile up the dirt around the plant as it grows is the best way to do that. So stay tuned for a couple of months and I'll update you then.